Since we're at Daytona, driving on road course, do you think an IndyCar race or a NASCAR race could even work around the infield configuration? I think it's a tricky place, really. Daytona for this for a couple of different reasons, but mostly because you kind of have to run a low downforce configuration here um, because it's so much time and, and you know full throttle um, going around the oval, and then you get therefore on the infield part and the car is lacking downforce <laughs> so it slides around it doesn't really feel right it doesn't stop very well um, but uh, yeah I mean I I think it definitely be pretty interesting to put uh, I, I don't know what the fans would think about it I think NASCAR's here would be a bit risky uh, I think uh, I think what we do here most times is, is pretty exciting for the fans so um, I don't think there's much we need to change there I think um, IndyCar would be fun to watch, but uh, I think NASCAR should do it since they're so like Daytona oriented. Um, I think I love the road courses for NASCAR, and um, it'd be a lot of fun to to come over to the racetrack and watch. Uh, I think it'd be difficult for IndyCar. I think NASCAR for sure. I think NASCAR around the Daytona road course would be a great show. I mean, they're used to drafting around the, the Daytona Oval, uh, but there's big break zones here. There's a lot of passing opportunities for those types of cars. Uh, I think Indy cars would be interesting. It'd be a massive draft fest and uh, that's that's not something they have on road racing so it could be cool um, I'd be I'd be shocked if it ever happened though do you think the banking would uh, change anything at all uh, I think with the current package IndyCar has they'd be maximum uh, trim <laughs> or trim out you know I don't think you could ever make up any time uh, with any downforce on the car yeah, Indy cars are so fast, um, but they, they do a lot of really high bank tracks with a lot of load. They do Iowa, which is crazy. So I think I think Daytona could work. Um, they would be flying by the time they got to turn one. Um, but I, I, I'd watch it. I think for us in IndyCar, it would be a bit of a tricky situation. Because obviously here you, you never really have um, in IMSA, for example, um, too many cars that are in the same class that are going exactly the same speed um, at the same place because it stretches out and it's not too crazy. But if you were to run an IndyCar race around this place, in, even in the road course configuration, man, it, it'd get pretty crazy, I think. But to see, uh, to see a whole field of them doing 200-something miles an hour into turn one, I think it would be a lot of fun to watch. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I don't see any reason why not. Uh, Joseph Newgarden tried uh, the Rovo there last year at, in Charlotte, and it worked out just fine. So here would be fine, too. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's even in, uh, in the talks, but um, no problem at all.